Welcome back to my channel today and in this video I'm going to explain you guys about uh, how to change the Magic Hunter series clipper blades so because I had so many questions about this and then you know and um, everyone is asking you know uh, because there's uh, so many new barbers starting in this business and in this uh, industry and there's a lot of lots of to learn uh, in this business we all know that and so that's why you know I hope this video will help you and I'm going to change the Wahal Hunter series clippers in uh, blades in here so um, it's actually um, it's, it's, it's very easy but uh, I like to show you again so I hope this video will help and I hope this video will answer your questions and if you have any question please don't be hesitate to comment on the below I will be more than happy to answer your questions guys and I'm here thank you and I hope you are here too <laughs> let's jump in the video <laughs> let's jump in the video now guys So in here, I have a couple of different clippers, but today I'm going to show you uh, how magic clippers because this, this, uh, these are the clippers we are always using for the uh, skin phase, high skin phase, mid skin phase, low skin phase, all type of hair, all type of skin fades. And you all know skin fades are quite very popular and very common haircuts at the moment. Uh, so that's why, you know, uh, these tools are very, very important. So I have a Magic uh, Magic 100 series Wahal Clipper in here. And these are one of my best clippers. And they are very nice and very fast and very smooth. And they always give me good results with my skin fades and with my fades. So let's jump in the, uh, let's jump in the uh, change in the blades. <clears throat> I already changed this blades because I have a new blades. It's very, very new because I always like to change my blades very often. Every is every often how like depends how much I use. And so I'm just gonna open this and I'm gonna change this blades and you will see now. All right. So first of all, we start the two screws on the back. All right. Just be careful, please don't lose the and the small screws because they are very very small and very tiny so it can be lost very easily and so you don't want to lose that so when we take the two clip when we take the two screws out and then we just come out with this this is the first part and this is the second part as you can see because all they are clean and they are all oiled and they're all ready yeah. so this is the blades part and this is the part you change with this usually so this is the part you usually change this is the blades come with this and this is the blade come with this as well and also in here Whenever you are changing the, your blades, it's always, you know, sometimes if you've been working with your clippers uh, quite a while and it's always like hair stocks in there and always the, uh, is, you will always find hair in there, it's always easy way to uh, blow dry them and because blow dry will help to get the old hairs out of your uh, machine as well inside. And also what you can do as well sometimes you know the hairs can get stuck in there as well and you can use the tweezers as well to get the, all the hairs out as well and just like that and this can come out as well in here so this part is can come out as well if you know how to put it back on as well just be very careful in here because sometimes you know all the hairs can get stuck in there and that will slow your machine because there is a there is a actually you know machine inside there there is actually you know um main part which can turn which can work with your uh, with your blades there's main parts in there so it's always nice to keep around that clean and you can use the blow dry for that and you can get the tweezers as well and you can just pull the hairs in there like that very nice and gently 
So once you do that, you can always give back again quick clipper, uh, quick uh, blow dry. And then once you're once you're hundred percent sure about the all the hairs come out, we can put back this again. Just again, nice and gently, make sure this is all sitting in there. Yeah, once you hear the click noise, that's mean that's sitting there. And you can just like test like that as well. And then once you get your new blades, and again, this is like new blades. When you get back new blades, and then you can always make sure the new blade is going again like this inside. And then just make sure because this has to be look like this. You can't put it like this because otherwise it will not be cutting. So you have to make sure you have uh, putting them back together nice and right way. It's very important. And then same again with this one. And this goes like this. And then whenever you are putting this bag again just is you know like hold with your one finger like that you know because it's like you know with this main finger you know just hold like that because you can with the screw hole in there as you can see it will be easy for you to put the screws in and once you hold it and then you can just double check like that as well again with your front side yeah and once you once you put one once you put the uh, once you put the uh, uh, once you are uh, and then you can just make sure you know and um, the screw hole is in there and then it's just matching with the uh, bottom hole as well and then once you set the screw in there nice and gently don't be don't screw that all the way down once you're sure it's holding a little bit like this because this will be like kind of like this all right and then with the second screw again we can put it on Again, don't be screwing too much because we have to we have to level the blades now. So make sure the blade is on the middle of the this guard. Yeah, and then this is all the way front, so you can know where is your blade gonna be. And then once you're once you're happy with the uh, blades uh, level, you can just double check on the back level as well because you can use this as a help. And this will show you once you're moving back and forward, it will show you where is the, your blade because you know on the corners as well is quite important. And then once you're happy with the level of the, your blades, you can slowly, slowly, nice and gently, just another give some screw and then just. Yeah, just screw it a little bit and then just double check again your blades and if you're happy with your blade levels you can go back and screw your and then get your screws nice and tight yeah and then once you once you screw your, your once you uh, once you put your screws nice and tight you can just double check again and then just work it again and then should be okay that's perfect and then with your hand help as well, you can get like this. You can just like put in your hand and you can just see the level like that as well. Because sometimes, you know, when the light hit the blades, you can't see too much, you know, because it's shine. And that's why, you know, it's nice to put something behind there or something like this. But, you know, mostly I prefer like this because it makes, you know, whenever I'm doing like this, it gives me more better vision and more better view. I can see my blades clearly. And then once you finish the once you finish the putting your blaze new blaze in, please don't forget to put oil as well. And then give some nice. <clears throat> we have on this clipper oil in here as well. It's the oil blade after every use for increased eff uh, effectiveness. So it's very very good and it's really very good and a cool disinfectant and love rings and cleaner and rust prevent as well. And yeah, preventive. Yeah. So a little bit cool care and then move your blades back and forward so make sure you know all the uh, oil and spray is goes inside the blades as well because it will help the it will help them to work in uh, very nice and smooth and I have also wow 
um, oil, uh, Wahal clipper oil in here. This is actually main clipper, and this will be this will be one you know keep your uh, clipper nice and cool and makes you it will last longer as well on your clippers. And then once you put your oil in there as well, just again back and forward, and then with your clipper clean and towel. You don't want to use your clipper clean and towel on the clients. You know you just have to keep them separate because all these clippers has like, like chemical in them. So that's why you know you don't want to use them on your clients or you have to be careful. You know, you know. So that's it. And then once you clean your, you know, like clippers like this, just give it like nice polish all around so it doesn't slip in your hand as well you know because you know they are, when you put the oil in them they are quite uh, like you know all slippery so it's nice to keep, give all around your clippers nice and clean and polish them as well because it will you know it will sit in your hands so i hope this video help you uh, to uh, I hope this video helped you guys to get, uh, pick up a couple of tips on this and then how to change our Wahal Hunter series uh, magic clipper and you know how to change the blade with them and it's nice and simple and easy once you change a couple of times trust me you will get there and you will get used to it and then once you get used to it it's going to be so much easier for you to change your blades uh, on your clippers and every often changing blades it's, it will uh, give your uh, clippers some more smooth work and then give your uh, haircut some more better result. So thank you so much. This video really helped you and if you really think you know you pick a couple of tips out of this video please hit the like button and if you are new in here consider to subscribe because we are going to come back many more videos like this with the haircuts, hot towel shapes, beard trims, all too many haircuts uh, and too many videos. It's going to be so much busy for us. So I can't wait to back to work as well. And if you have any question, please don't be hesitate to comment on the below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And thank you so much for watching this video today. And stay safe and see you on next video. Thank you guys.